Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you recommended me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if we just see something of yours shown on this channel, just leave me the name of the Steam Workshop or Mod IO item in the comment section below and I'll eventually get around to it. But for today, we are looking at another small block vehicle. This one has a very impressive custom turret on top and it's called the Flatbed AA, the No Fly Zone, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is just a very small vehicle that has everything you need to go out and about, refuel this thing, reload it with ammunition, and then blast whatever comes close to you with this fancy turret at the back here. So we've got cannon guns, we've got auto cannons, and a well protected camera to make sure you can always aim this thing, as well as a couple of lights to make sure you can see what you're doing at night. But anyway, coming all the way over to here and pressing F10, finding it in the spawn menu, the flatbed AA is 992 small blocks using the Wasteland and Warfed 2 DLC packs. We've got no information whatsoever, so simply give this a thumbs up. Move all the way around to the very front. My character can now bugger off a little bit. There we go. I'll bring the sun back around just a bit. That I have to do for the moment. A quick look around the outside. And we'll drive around for a bit to see what kind of destruction we can cause with that turret. Anyway, all the way over to here at the very front, this is what we get. So right in the middle there, we can see a bunch of window blocks with some seats right behind it, because this is how we can do drive this thing around. Only one seat has been set up to control the vehicle and the turret. The other one is empty, but if you did want to set it up, you could always just drag across some controls. So then you could have, say, like a driver and then a dedicated gunner. Right below that, we've got two spies. And right below that, we've got a bunch of blast or edge blocks just adding it to a little bumper. This should help you vehicles with any kind of bumps into like rocks that randomly come out of nowhere, into little trees that ping off into space. If you were to move all around onto the side, this is what we get. We can see our wheel suspensions and how that's all been connected up with a little bit of protection from these steel blocks, another spotlight to light up the darkness, and right through this little corner, which is how we're going to get into our seats to drive this thing around, is a programmable block. Programmable block on this side, because there is one on the opposite, has got the refueling script, and the one on the opposite side all the way through here has nothing going on with it. So if you did think of something useful you could have on this vehicle, you got one to play around with. Anyway, coming all the way back around to over to here, on the side, that is what it looks like. We've got a connector to refuel this thing up with ammo and anything else you want to take along with you. There is an antenna to make sure you can always find this thing. All the way over to here, we then got a button, which is how we're going to switch the turret to AI control from the outside. It saves you having to run over to your cockpit, getting in that and flipping the switch, which would be a lot quicker, especially in an emergency. Right above that, we then got a control panel so we can fiddle around the vehicle from the outside. And all the way around towards the very back here, this is what we get. So just a bunch of steel blocks to protect up those suspensions from behind. Then moving all the way up to here, this is what we get at the back of the turret. We've got a very strange system going on here. I'm not too sure what has happened there. It might be a bug with the game, could be intentional, but it looks like we've got a large hinge base onto a small hinge head. But we just ignore this. Right below there is our advanced rotor to spin this thing full 360. And all the way around towards the very front, this is what we get for our custom turret. So we've got six scanning guns, six auto cannons, two lights and a camera in the middle with two sets of windows just to protect it from any kind of stray shots coming towards the turret. If we just do a look down on the turret, that's what it looks like. Moving towards the front, that's all we can see. And then one final thing on the side, which I did miss out, is on this side, instead of an antenna, we do have a beacon. Just quickly dropping down and coming underneath, not too much to talk about. We can see how the rear suspensions have been protected. Then at the front there, we can see how that front bumper has been attached. But there we go, that's a very brief look around the outside of the flatbed AA. It looks great with how it's been set up, and I am a very big sucker for a custom turret with a bunch of weapons strapped onto it. But now what I can do is just grab hold of my character, come all the way over here, and just a very quick demonstration. Here's the button after a small lag spike. Now press that, the AI is now turned on, and then pressing it again will then turn it off. So there we go. Yes, we can come all the way around onto this side just very quickly, hopping into that seat. We've got nothing on our control panel, hopping out of that and coming around to the opposite side. This will then be the one to control everything. So in first person view, this is what we get all the way around. So we've got a very clear view of what's going on. And we've got two tabs to go through. Starting with tab number two, this is simply for our beacon and antenna on the side to turn them on and off. Back to tab number one, button number one is then for our parking brake on and off. Number six is then for our lights on our turret to turn them on and off. So you might be able to make it out when I just switch them like so. 
Number 7 is then for the AI to take over the turret on the back. Number 8 is to take manual control over the gun. And this is what it looks like from first person view. A lot of flashing lights. But bring the free camera all the way open and firing once again. That is what we get. A very crispy sound comes out of this as it merges all the sound effects into one. That's what it looks like from the front. One hell of a lot of smoke. And there's all the projectiles coming out of it. Anyway, stopping that for the moment. Final thing on this thing is a emergency button which hopefully you will never have to use. Now let's just simply attach a new wheel onto this. So there we go with that. But now that's all done and out of the way, whoop, wrong camera, there we go. We can now drive this thing around, see what kind of speed we can get, then I'll spawn some stuff for this turret to shoot, and maybe even try flying a ship over it after this has been given to the space pirates. But anyway, moving forwards, this is what we get. We've got quite slow acceleration, but our top speed does cap out at about 63 meters per second. So we can charge along the ground, but it is rather heavy, so you do have to watch out for any kind of lumps and bumps. So if you do go over a ramp, you are going to get a lot of airtime. Anyway, coming to a stop, that's what we get. No risk of flipping over. Then doing a 360, this is what we get. It sort of shuffles around on the ground. So there's no risk whatsoever of this flipping over randomly. And we'll just get some speed and try to do a corner at high speeds. So here we go, that'll do, and I'll start to turn around. That's what we get. Yes, there's no risk of this flipping over, which is always nice to see. But if you are in an emergency, this vehicle does come with a gyroscope, so if you are in a bit of a pickle, you can always <laughs> change the direction of this vehicle or try and stop yourself from tipping over. We'll also come into here and ignore that tree I just hit. We've got four gyroscopes on here, which is very nice to see. And I'm not too sure what happened to that turret, but let's just go and fiddle him all the way back round. There we go. Anyway, now what I'm going to do is just spawn in the vehicle and we'll go and shoot it with the turret. And now I'll try flying over it, but it's given to the space pirates. And here we go, I spawned in one of my own personal ships. This is a junk fighter, just made out of a bunch of crap. It's very rusty, it's got a lot of clanging noises going on with it. But I've got the AA turret facing at it, and here we go. And now we're just going to keep blasting it. That is the damage it's doing, it's just tearing apart that poor little ship. But now it's gone down to the ground and we can barely hit it. There we go. That's how quickly it just destroyed a small ship. But if I was to bring something slightly bigger, we'll see what kind of damage it can deal to that. There we go, that'll do another one in the junk line. And we'll just get back into this, and we'll use the camera properly to aim it, and then shoot this poor little rover. So let's go for that hydrant tank first of all, just go and start blasting it. In fact, I'll bring the free camera over because you can't really see what's going on. There's the hydrant tank, that's a massive explosion, just pull the back of the vehicle off. Wow, that was, that must have been completely full. Now I just need to come back into the camera and realign that. And here we go, we're now going to start shooting into that. We can turn around just a little bit. There is a large refinery. How many shots is it going to take? It shouldn't take too long with this gun. And there we go, that's now been destroyed. And it is just tearing that thing apart. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm now going to give this to the Space Pirates. In fact, we're going to move it away from that so it stops shooting it. Then I'll give it to the Space Pirates, and we'll fly over it in the good old Dex Fighter. And here we go, I've spawned in the Dex Fighter. There is the flatbed AA, which has been given to the Space Pirates. We're now going to fly over it to see what kind of damage we'll take. So we're going to do this at high speeds, and hopefully we'll come out of this in one piece. Although I'm expecting to get absolutely destroyed. There it is, like there, going to start shooting. There goes all the bullets. It looks like we're just about faster than it taking a little bit of damage at the back there but we can't fly straight over it that is a massive spread so if you were flying a much bigger ship much wider ship that'll do a nice lot of damage but let's say you had loads of these in one area let's say you had like five or six of these then yes that is going to be a rather deadly thing to fly past but looking at the damage it's caused to us a lot of block damage it looks like several of our atmospheric thrusters have been taken offline so we are slowly coming to the ground and here we go once again we're going to fly a bit lower I'm going to go all the way towards it and hopefully crash into it before it can destroy me. So anyway, there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself. I highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.